Oh, he, he need 95 for that? Yeah. So today is Tuesday, August 4th, 2020. We're still right in the middle of this Rona collapse where America, just about everything in America is going wrong. I go to Walmart, my bill is $11.05. 11 11.05, that's my bill. I hand the cashier a $20 bill and she says to me, <laughs> do you need your change back? And I'm looking, what? It, the change is, you know, so I think I, I assume she was talking about the coins, the 95 cents. I, yeah, duh, yeah, I'd like to have my 95 cents back. So as soon as she said, do you need your change back, that's when I turned the camera on because I knew this was going to get kind of weird. Now I realize this is not the cashier's fault. I mean, she works for a multi-billion dollar company, Walmart. I guess the bosses are telling her. We don't, we're, no, we're short on change, we don't have any coins. Just ask the customer if they would like to give us the change. <laughs> this is like standard operating procedure now at Walmart. Now I had heard rumors about this where they were just, you know, asking you, would you like to donate your change to BLM and all. And I've heard lots of different things, but it finally happened to me. She just said, you know, do you need your change back? And of course, Yes, I needed my change back. It took a little bit of time, but two, it, two bosses came over. Two bosses. One boss said, okay, let me go across the store and get you some change. But the whole time this is going down, the guy behind me is kind of frustrated. And he says, here, here, here I'll give you a nickel. He, he's talking to the cashier. Here, just take the nickel, please. And he tells the cashier, I believe, like five or six times, here, just, just please take the nickel and let's get this over with. Rihanna, you need the big check or the beer? Hey, this five pennies give him a dollar. This five pennies give him a dollar. I already did. It don't matter, he's giving a dollar, he's going home. Thanks. Just take five cents, give him a dollar. Hold on, sir, I just got here, wait a minute. I thought you were here. I know, I know, the poor guy behind me, I, I felt his pain, but what am I going to do? Give Walmart 95 cents just to move things along? Look at this. Every minute, the Walmart's founding family, they earn, every minute, $70,000. That's $4 million every hour they take in. $4 million every hour and $100 million every day. Now, I ask you, what would be more logical? that Walmart give me a nickel or that I give Walmart 95 cents. It just doesn't make any sense. Now call me a dinosaur or something, but I, I can remember like 20 years ago, if you were short three cents or four cents or five cents, they, the cashier would just say, here, you go ahead. They'd round it off, give you your $9 change, but not the Walton family. Look at this. Nancy, $6.6 .6 billion. Uh-huh. And... 7.6 billion dollars. Oh yeah, this is I'm getting upset now. Christy, 8.3 billion. Remember, these are with B's here. Lucas, Lucas, 17.6 billion dollars. I'm getting angry now. Angry. Samuel, 50 billion dollars. Yes, I'm getting real angry now. Alice 50.7 billion dollars. And you want my 95 cents, Jim? Jim is worth 51.4 billion dollars. And yes, I'm pissed off. I mean, how do these people live with themselves? They're teaching the cashiers to, yeah, ask the American if he would just give us that 95 cent change. Yeah, we, we, we'll just suck up all this change. If we take a, a penny from every American. If we take 90 cents from every American, we can get even richer. I can get a hundred billion dollars. I, I think maybe I'm trying to figure out why they want my nickels. I think it has to do with nickels have a lot of copper in them. Nick, nickels are 75 percent copper. You may have heard the story a few years ago. I think it's about nine years ago. After the housing collapse, uh, nickels became uh, worth 15 cents at one time. During the housing collapse, yeah, one time nickels became worth 15 cents. 
Cal Bass was a real, uh, real smart individual. He went out and bought a million dollars worth of nickels because he knows, especially now in the Rona collapse, nickels, because of their copper, nickels are going to be, who knows, they'll be worth 50 cents by the time this is over. Here's the bottom line. Here's the truth. The Federal Reserve Bank and the Treasury, they're not making any coins right now. They may want to go digital, but they're just not making any coins. That means there's a coin shortage out there. A lot of the grocery stores like Kroger's are begging people, please bring us your change. Please, begging us. I think they're even giving out free stuff. Walmart's got a little better idea. They just ask you, sir, do you want your change back? Yeah, I do want my change back, but I'm sure there's lots of people out there. So no, no, keep that 80 cents. No, go ahead. Walmart's such a nice company. Keep that 50 cents. So Walmart has figured it out. Get your hands on as many nickels as you can right now. Again, nickels have copper. The thing is, if you don't have your nickels now, you're probably not going to get any nickels. Uh, good luck going to the bank and asking them for a million dollars in nickels. I don't think that's going to happen now. It's too late. You have to call somebody yeah. for, for, the, for the change? It's, uh, I need change. Huh? All the stores are low on change now, you know. The nickels, nickels have copper in them. Just stop oh, hitting Jim about. Just stop hitting Jim about. I already did. It doesn't matter. He's Jim about. He's got old. Okay. He's Jim about. So what do we need? He's Jim about. Oh, he he need ninety five cents back. Yeah. Stop hitting Jim about. Good day to the day. Oh, yeah. Change. Yeah. Oh. Hold on, son. I just got here. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. I thought you were here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were here. What's going on? Well, thank, thank you. Have a great day. I know you want to get out of here. I do. But I.